Hey guys, welcome back to our World of Horror playthrough. Last time we got our butts kicked on quick play. I'm gonna do it to try to customize the playthrough. See what we can do here. World of Horror base game. Card pack containing everything you need to play this one bit horror investigation game. World of Horror unlockables contains all cards you've unlocked through achievements. Uncheck all. Okay, what is the difference here? Card pack containing everything you need to play this one bit horror investigation game. Contains all cards you've unlocked through achievements. All right, we'll, we'll do that because we've got a couple achievements. World of Horror, more students. Contains additional four skins for random student allies. Sure. Unlock while playing. One of the core ideas behind World of Horror is modularity, allowing you to mix and match various card packs with different content. Simply select card packs you want to be included and continue by pressing the arrow on the bottom. Okay, well that's all we've got, so we'll go with that. One last thing. A tall man left a suitcase for you this morning. He said you will know the password. I wonder what could, that could mean. Obviously. Yeah, we know the password, all right. Password is poopy. Get to pick. Do we get to pick who we play as? Or no? Oh, we do. Customize the playthrough by choosing character and background. Oh. Okay. Kiri. Plus knowledge minus strength starts with run random spell. Could the ghost following her be in any way connected with all those weird events happening in this town? No. No. What are these noises? No. Aiko? Plus dexterity minus knowledge. Barely surviving after a ghost of a drowned man kept her underwater. She is determined to solve this mystery. Starts with combat speed bonus. Aru? Robbing that old abandoned manor was a mistake. With his friends dead and mutilated and a vengeful horror chasing him, no speed is too high. Plus strength minus knowledge starts with cigarettes. Okay. Suzuki. No teen idol. Yakuza driver. Swimming team captain. Transfer student. Teen idol. Mizuki. What a strange world we live in. Where stopping an ancient evil is the easiest way of boosting your career. Plus charisma minus strength starts with a random ally. Help. 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 This is... What are these noises? Photographer, Kuji. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. The government won't sweep this one under the rug, under a rug. Plus perception minus dex starts with a camera. All right, yeah. Let's do Aiko. I think we've played with her before. Background. World of Horror, at the beginning, no one had any idea what we were against. No offense, medical history. Brittle, bro brittle bones run in your family, and you've spent each summer in a cast. You start with extra experience and bandages, but each damage can cause an injury. No, 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 we're not doing that. Difficulty? Whoa, 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 whoa. Extra options. Timeline A, timeline B, timeline A. When leveling up, the game will only draw generic and character. Use character exclusive only. Use all unlocked perk cards. Use all unlocked perk cards. Prioritize new content. Keep the content randomized. Prioritize new content is fine. Items, statistics. Don't randomize the price and statistics of item 
You find and buy this playthrough. Okay. Okay, difficulty. We don't want the Harbinger of... There was zero funds. Threat level... Yeah, no, that seems like the hardest difficulty. Uh, not skeptic. We'll try initiate. Power of five funds. Threat level lowered. Yeah. We got... We got our asses kicked on cultists last time. Old gods are awakening. Your only chance of survival is solving five different mysteries. End of the world is at hand. Classic. Oh, classic mode. Scenario mode. Short adventure set during the events of classic. Oh, coming soon. Endless mode. No, no. We'll do classic mode. Somewhere, a group of people gathered, trying to awaken their master. Click the old god and click again to confirm your choice. We have Kathak. The terrible spider god, Kathak Atarasu. Once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Eternal web, you can't run from combat. Ethotu, the devouring fire. This supposed cause of destruction of... Uh, we've seen this one. The supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria. A perfect black marble statue has been recently discovered and is currently waiting in the museum of 000 for its long-awaited premiere. Entropy. Both your damage and your enemies is increased. Ath Yolath the Towering Eye. This one killed us last time. The Mad God favors astronomers and magicians, granting them its gift of power that unknowingly brings Athelath's bloody bo bloated body closer and closer to Earth. Cosmic Gift. Casting spells costing reason increases doom instead. Ah. Uh, Oizo, the thing forsaken by God. Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through the glass. And the glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. Mirror heart resting increases doom penalty. Alright, let's try the spider. The game begins... Oh, this is random. Try the spider guy. The eternal web. Kathak. Atarasu, once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. Okay. Okay, we got nothing. We have no spells. We have no weapons. Head home. Mailbox is empty. We take a bath. XP boost. Change our clothes. Yeah, I like this one. What is this? Vanity jacket. Yeah, let's do that. Anything in here? Yep, we got some funds. Okay. Anything down here? We got an empty bottle. All right. Inexplicable, morbid event, inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time. All right, break down five. Okay. We have bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin, rotten report of a rancid ramen, tranquilizing tale of a Twilight TV terror. We're gonna we're gonna do this little one instead of the ramen because we've already done the ramen. Vicious verses of a violent vigil. I think we did that one yesterday. Bizarre Bruit of the Blood-Curdling Botanist. Horrible History of a Household Hell. Alright, let's do this little tranquilizing tale of the Twilight TV Terror. If you're ever up late these days, unable to sleep, and flipping through the TV, you might be unfortunate enough to find the 444 channel. The pale people stand on an empty set, staring into the camera with lopsided smiles, hissing in a language you don't understand. I know, we have it. I just think he's flashing. Yeah, we have an empty bottle. It can be used to store liquids. Okay. You sit in your bed, staring at the flickering blue TV screen. You miss the damn channel. Again. 
travel to apartments. We must investigate the apartments. Raining blood. A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower had started spraying blood. Trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Uh, let, uh, let's try and calm her down. Success. The woman sniffs and smiles weakly. You feel like you've prevented something awful. Or max. We got plus four region, but we're at max. So that did nothing. The local broadcast station seems like a logical place to start your investigation. You decide to head there early in the morning. First, we're gonna shop. From the doggo. Doggo's got a camera. This one, knowledge. Uh, I might buy that. This is sloppy. Should buy the camera. Sun kit. Energy drink. We need a. We need a. Weapon. That's what we need. All right. Let's buy the camera. Equip the camera. We're gonna investigate downtown. Eddie thief. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps at you and quickly apologizes. Realize what's happening? Success. They stole your wallet. You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing into the crowd. The tired station director sweats and keeps glancing to the side when asked about the weird channel. He peremptorily denies his existence before pushing you out of his office. Just before the door closes, you spot another person standing behind the director. Was he in his office the whole time you were there? This has no bonus objectives to do, I guess. What is this? Continue investigating downtown. Ah, the good old dead policeman. Of course we're gonna steal his gun. We got three bullets. We need a weapon. Passing by a TV display, it randomly switches channels. You freeze, seeing the pale presenter's face glaring at you. He points at the dark shapes hanging just behind the stage. Are those body bags? Continue our investigation. Suddenly, an empty bottle breaks on the wall behind you. You cover yourself from the glass fragments and notice a mass assailant holding a baseball bat. Oh, it's the Antifa rider again. Of course. Dodge. Attack boost. Strong attack. Launch sequence. Do it again. Dodge just nothing. Raider grabs a bottle filled with fuel. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We should do this. Attack, do this. Attack, attack. Oh, we missed. You are engulfed. Ryder throws a Molotov cocktail at you. You are engulfed in flames. You receive additional combat damage. Oh, my God. All right, we need one of these to hit. Okay. Wait, what's that? Oh, we found a prescription. Where could you fill a prescription like this? Staying up all night, it's almost impossible, and you struggle to keep your eyes open. When the channel comes up, you manage, you manage to switch on the DVR just before falling asleep. Finally, you've got a, a real proof of the channel's existence. All right, we gotta go to the hospital. And enter the doctor's office and treat my burn. Stable condition. Discard it, okay. We're good. Downtown. Shop. Selling kit. Compass. I want the compass. Plus two experience for each investigated location. 
I think we want the compass. The bonus XP is good. Okay. Let's get the apartments. We're a little beat up. We only we're down to 13 stam and 10 reason from 21. <laughs> Unfinished painting. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. Color. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. Bailed. Intimidated by the unsettling painting, you're haunted by nightmares. When you wake up the next morning, the footage is a scrambled mess, but you can swear there are faces hiding behind the static. Feeling desperate, you start combing through the message board, hoping to find some clues. Investigating the fire escape. So tired. It's past midnight and you're barely keeping your eyes open. Maybe it's a good idea to call it a night. Yes, let's go to sleep. Take a quick break from the investigation and call it a night early. Plus one stamina. You think you finally found a clue. A forum post about a newly built warehouse in a nearby village. Could it be the place where they broadcast a TV show from? You'll take the last bus and find the studio for yourself. Investigate village. Investigating field. Ah, your compass helps you find your way. Plus two XP. Weird funeral. Oh, uh, we have to, we've done this. Uh, let's fight our way out this time. Failed. The guests mean business. You break into a, uh oh, you break into a frantic run. However, this only enrages the mourners. They soon catch up and overpower you. After an involuntary, after an involuntary sacrifice, they toss you out on the street. Now we are coughing blood. Minus two dexterity. Oi. We got one fun left. You spend the rest of the evening in the village's restaurant. When it closes up and the sun goes down, you creep into the huge studio warehouse. Investigate the studio. You walk through the dimly lit studio, creeping past the props and various equipment, getting closer to the lights in the very center. Closer to the hissing noises and candle after. You stand just out of sight, holding your breath. The cast stand on a desolate stage, drawing pentagrams on each other. You think one of them catches your eye and you gasp. What happens next is bizarre. The entire cast spots you, but instead of attacking, they run directly into the camera, disappearing into its lens like into a portal. You rummage around the set for a while, trying to figure out how they escaped into the camera and any clues to the show's meaning. Ultimately, you find nothing, however. When you get home, you're uneasy about turning on the TV. Take a bus back to Shiwakawa, thinking about the Cursed Channel. Rewards for solving this mystery. Plus 30 XP. Minus 4% Doom. Plus 1 Reason Stam. Time passes one day. Old Gunsters. The imposing shadow casted by the old lighthouse is getting longer each day. Lighthouse gets one additional floor. That's fine. We got a key. We're gonna take a bath. Uh, I think we need reason. Okay. Uh, next one. Yeah, so we don't have to do the ramen. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Yeah, let's just do that one. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anybody can connect to a bulletin system or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all of the messages on that bulletin and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics. Everything from video games to sports to idol culture. But in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun and games. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin board system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind the suicides? How could so many people all be driven to take their own lives?
Even if the rumored bulletin system's phone number is found, there is no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school library has one that will work? Alright, first we're gonna go to the hospital. To treat our burns. Or the blood. That's the last of our money. And we have blood loss. Minus 10% max stamina. This is minus two, two stamina, that's okay. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can't recruit an ally. Who is this? Kohaku is staring at the clouds. They look like heads. They look fine. Reiko is waiting for the class to begin. There's something off about them. Doi is taking their pen apart and putting it back together. Has to join. Sorry, I don't have time. Sounds strange. Plus one reason and stamp. Okay. Seems good. You want to join too? Plus one perception. Okay. Investigate the school. The substitute teacher. Decline. Something grabs your hand. Oh, I insist. Luck check failure. Minus two stam. Hey, we've been through that one already. Sorry, my phone. While the school's while the school library's computer doesn't have a modem, you happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. You apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arranged to meet her at her, home, at her home in the city. I'll investigate the forest location twice. Alright, let's do that now. Forest ritual. The suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They are enacting some sort of ritual and a clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. Attempt to climb it. Success. You managed to see some of their faces and hear the names of the group. Alright, let's do downtown, and then we'll do forest again. We should level up soon. Old friend. You're pleasant, you're ple you are pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something's up. So last time we chatted, let's invite for a coffee. Could this be the reason for... Recent horrific events, minus one funds, plus seven XP. Okay, we have zero funds, <laughs> so. That, that, nothing, nothing happened, I don't think we got the XP. You lug the cardboard box full of PC parts up your apartment stairs. Teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. God damn, our computer's heavy. And let's do the forest one more time. Out of funds. It's a bad time to be out of cash, says the grim-looking man who's standing in your way. Our company, fortunately, specializes in cases like yours and will gladly, gladly help you get back on track. After all, he takes a step closer, and you can swear there's a faint smell of rust about the man. Everyone has something to sell. This guy's, this, this guy's in the porno industry. This guy wants to make a porno. There are blood, fondest memory... Peace of mind. All right, we can give up some stamina. You startle awake on a park bench. Did you faint? There's no sign of the grim man anywhere, but you find an envelope full of cash inside your pocket. Minus three stam, plus two buns. After searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a note. Forest note. I write this for everyone Wanting to stay behind. The sacrifice is worth it. Life's meaning comes from our relationships. Shared death. And that connection will outlast you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone here is waiting for you. So if you lose your resolve, just listen to the voice of humanity. Can I... Can I... I can't sell this. Alright, I'll put that in storage. Seems like, uh, seems like it does nothing. Wired Preacher. 
Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? The day of reckoning is coming. That's the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello, are you still there? Hang up immediately. Put down the phone, a little shaken up. Just how many people did that odd man call today? Oof, we're getting a little beat up. Hold on, let me see. Is this important? No. Doesn't have the important tag. It's literally... Oh, it was a waste of time. All right, you wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, after a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. The newscaster on the TV says that the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in other nearby towns. You need to qu act quickly. Yes, we must investigate the staircase. You hear rustling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone is trying to get in. Oh my god. Apartment stalker. This guy's terrifying. You take a photo with Flash, disorienting the enemy. You pull the gun's hammer back, preparing for combat. Ah, oh, very cool. Strong attack, and then dodge. We've got a concussion. Minus one to knowledge until the end of the current mystery. That's okay. Oh, I messed it up. This strong attack, and then dodge. Save that. Lunges at you with his bat. I feel it. Dodge. Dexterity base drastically lowers the hit chance for the enemy. I feel like it hasn't done anything. As, as I say that, we dodge the attack. Oh, we're down to six stamina. Bashes you in the head with his baseball bat. Fantastic. Attack, boost, attack, attack, boost, attack, attack. Finish him off. Yeah, we did. Wait, what's that? A baseball bat. Resolve combat. Okay. Let's equip the bat. Let us level up. We have Outdoorsman, which is plus one luck. Which is not... Luck is not even on our stat sheet. How do we know how much luck we have? Strength, Dex, Perception, Knowledge, Charisma, Funds. There's no luck on here. Plus one luck, attuned with the natural rhythm of life. Running shoes, smaller doom penalty from running from combat. Hot bath, improved resting at home. We'll do hot bath. And we have to do stamina, because we're down to four stamina. Hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital. With how many deaths there have been, the hospital is in chaos. The staff looks exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down when the receptionist lets her head down onto the desk for a minute, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. Uh, also see if we can't heal our blood loss. No. And I, the concussion, we don't need to investigate the hospital. Workout routine. Takahashi, you hear a chipper voice shout during a jog around the area. You turn your head to see another one of your teammates in casual clothes, smiling blissfully unaware of everything going on. What's up, Captain? Uh, notice anything weird recently? After a bit of playful coaxing, you convince her to join you for another lap or two. The extra competition motivates you to push yourself harder. You wrap up your workout tired, but satisfy yourself. Satisfied with yourself. Did that do anything? You overhear two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. 
Apparently, she's recovering at her grandparents' home at this village in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. Okay, back to downtown. Oddly shaped package. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package but hesitate. An icy feeling settling into the pit of your stomach. Examine. Dexterity check failed. It's not until you've unwrapped it that you understand what it is. Shocked, you let it fall to the floor from your bloodied hands. Minus two reason. All right, we're down to nine stamina and five reason. This is only the second, the second m mystery or investigation. As you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiwakawa students leapt in front of a train, hand in hand. You move, you move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching down the village streets. Investigate village. Investigate street. In an otherwise bleak village, the look of the most beautiful flower patch surprises you. As you get closer to compliment the gardener, you stop, hearing weird sniffling sounds. Sniffling gardener. Got minus one stamp, so that's not bad. So we're gonna boost. Strong. Dodge. We can't do that. Boost. Regular. Dodge. We got the bat now, too, so. We dodged. Good. We dodged again. Alright, one more time with this sequence. Hits us with the spade. Oh, and we missed. Stabs with the shears. Dodging does not seem very good. All right, double attack. Yeah, there we go. Wait, what's that? Oh, we found a shovel. Bet the shovel is a weapon. So baseball bat does four, 95 speed, chance to hit 80. Shovel does six, speed is 120, which is slower, I guess. All right, shovel is strength based. A bat is also strength based. Chance to hit 60. A small chance of gaining funds after defeat. We're gonna sell the shovel. Wait, we're looking beat up. When you find the girl's house, her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your efforts to stop the deaths. Forgive her, her grandfather says as he leads you to her bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. Continue our investigation. <clears throat> Shimo Kage. An old priest is performing a ritual to appease a local demon in imprisoned underground. You're invited to join them. Uh, participate in a ritual. Success. You've read about the ritual. Following the intricate pattern of steps, bows, and claps isn't a problem for you. Once the ritual ends, the priest thanks you and hands over an item. Eldritch Amulet. Magic Amulet, slot B, plus 10 reason when worn. It could be your last hope to make it through. Yeah, no kidding. It looks really old. All right, we're gonna wear it because we absolutely have to now. The recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the bulletin's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at, at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? Disquieted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. A little confusing. Professor... Takuichi. No one answers when you knock at Professor T's door. 
This is odd since he's normally punctual about his appointments. The smell of blood tells you that something's wrong and you quickly open the door and make your way inside. There's no sign of the professor, but the quantity of blood everywhere leaves little doubt as to what has happened, but how and why. Search the room for clues. Scavenge the room for useful items. Needs a cult signs skill. Search the room for clues. Success. You notice a book lying on the floor. You pick it up to find that four pages have been torn out. You memorize the title of the book. Why would someone take them and what did they contain? Hold on one sec. As soon as you arrive home, you dial the number and put the handset onto the modem. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums. You hear a brief dial tone and then it, and then it finally connects. Investigate computer. This is cool. On screen, welcome home. Do you like it? Yes. I'm glad. Take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. Remember the note. You recall the note you found? Could this be the voice of humanity you read about? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear words or a voice. You soon understand they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Everyone is here now. We've escaped everything that held us back in life. We don't have any more burdens. You can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence, a paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We will bring all humanity together. You need to think carefully about how to respond. Um, you can save everyone. Paradise Connection, everyone deserves that. We will bring all humanity together. You can't save everyone. Suffering is human. I don't want to die. Was that in the note? The forest note? I don't remember this, and I can't look at it. I don't think. Yeah. Suffering is human? How can you believe that? Well, okay, if you want to suffer, go ahead. Your consciousness dips. By the time you snap out of it, you're strangling yourself with the phone cord. The entity assaults your mind, but the struggle brings out strength you didn't know you had. You refuse to die. Minus 5 stam, but plus 15% max stamina. Oof. We're down to 2. We're down to 2 stam. You listen to the staticky signal on the other end, on the other Ned. It's harsh to your ear. But then the noise begins to slowly change it to something beautiful. You want to join it. Together. Oh no, we're gonna die. I don't have anything to heal. So. We have to, do I have to bash the computer? <laughs> Is that what I'm doing? Oh, I should shoot, I should shoot the computer with the gun. Okay, take the bat. We have to dodge. I have no way to, reg I don't think I have any way to regain stamina. You bash together. Why should you resist? Oh, we're gonna. I guess we won't die, right? Die at the beginning of the next encounter. I mean, we might as well just all out attack, right? Minus two stamina, so I'm not sure what happens. You wrench the phone from your ear, nearly tossing it across the room. You could have killed yourself for that. You could have killed yourself for that thing. Sweat pouring down your face, you immediately yank the computer's plug from the socket. 
From the bulletin's number and a phone book, you find the system operator's address. When you enter the cramped apartment, you're met with a smiling, hanged teenager and a still-running, unplugged computer. Smash it to pieces. With the root cause gone, the suicide is eventually slow. While you couldn't save those already in its thrall, you're relieved to know the, vil the bulletin won't take any more victims. Red ending B. Plus 30 XP. Plus 15. XP. Minus 4 doom. Plus 1 region stam. Time passes. The old dusters. Weird epidemic keeps staff of the hospital busy. Skipping line will cost you more. Three minutes surgery caught. Actions cost more. Okay, we can level up. We can get discipline, regain one stamina for all past event skill checks. I might get that. EQC training. Using using firearms as melee weapons deals more damage. Oh, that's not bad either. Or strength. All combat moves deal an extra point of damage. Oh, these all three are kind of good. Um. I kind of think we need to do discipline because I have to heal stamina here. And we're gonna still be low. We're gonna be at like four stamina. Probably five after we rest, after we take a bath. Yeah. Take the key. Take a bath. Need stamina. We're also down, without the amulet, we only have three reasons. Well, not good. Okay, starting a new mystery. Okay, the violent vigil. All right, let's do the violent vigil. We have an idea of this. We got the worst ending last time. We received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want from you? We regret to inform you of the passing of your client and your, of our client and your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. There's an address and the list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued? You decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that could happen? Arrive. Following the direction of the mother, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt. Okay, so we explore the mansion. Then we meet somebody. Hold on, I'm gonna store this prescription because we're gonna need Ursa Grimoire. Uh, I think last time we took it. Let's burn it. You may never know what's inside the hideous book, but that's a good thing. Minus 3% doom, okay. Somebody's here. Uh, it's the girl, she doesn't like me. I can swear I've seen the symbol engraved on her necklace before. If you want the, to pay respects to that old creep, follow the corridor to the right. Okay, investigating overgrown garden. Hearing a shuffling sound coming from behind a wardrobe, you decide to push it out of the way. You discover a niche in the wall. Someone has put three dusty dolls in there. When you try to reach and grab one, however, they jump off and scatter around the room giggling. Puppet Matron. Minus one, all damage. Attack boost, attack. Dodge. We dodge the attack. One more time. Puppet Matron starts climbing you. <laughs> Puppet Matron just stabs you in the shin. We're going all out. Nice. Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allow your grand uncle to just lie there. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe other guests will know. Yeah, we need the pamphlet. You didn't get this letter? Here, take mine. Clap, clap, bow, clap. Okay, we'll go back. Clap, 
clap, bow, clap. Correct his foot. All right, 11 p.m. is supper, 12 a.m. is pray again, 1 a.m. nothing, 2 a.m. burn an envelope found. I don't know. 3 a.m. cover the mirror in the storage room. I think you can't even do that. 4 a.m., 5 a.m. The other one, the, the guy? Yeah, the scarred thug. Nervously scratches his scar. Okay. Explore. Cadaver theater. Corpses are strung up on wire like macabre marionettes with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. And it's two reason. All family members are cautiously eyeing the smelly dishes placed on a table in the corner of the room. The guests seem strangely uninterested in this vigil. You should explore more and learn what you can. Check out the supper. Strength has failed. The smell is nauseating and almost makes you stick. Oh good, we're down to three stamina. Uh, we might lose this too. <laughs> Eyes in the dark, you feel watched. Retreat. Minus two reason. It's midnight, you should go and pray. All right. Clap, bow, clap, bow. Uh, master bedroom. The body, it's missing. Study. Okay, well, where is everybody? You were startled when you discovered that headless body. You were horrified when you saw its head hanging in the middle of the room laughing. Animated head. This. Wait, can we do this and dodge? No, we can only do prepare, regular attack, dodge. Still got hit. Wraps his hair around you. Okay. Wait, what's that? We found the black hair. We managed to find one of the guests. They are shaken, but otherwise safe. You just you both decide to get the hell out of this place, but the door is gone. Let's not pretend like we want to be here. It's 1 a.m. We do nothing. We continue exploring. We have three stamina, three reason. We're gonna die again. You enter the art workshop. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. All right, last time we checked out the sculpture, let's check out the masks. One mask looks similar to the design you once saw in an occult book. You decide to take it with you. Can I... I can't... I can't look at my stored items, can I? Meh. Uh, it's 2 a.m. We're supposed to burn an envelope. Found... Somewhere in the storage room. Kill them. Check the wardrobe. Not enough room. Item added to the storage. I can't look at my storage. Can I? Put that. I can't look at my storage. Status? Allies and perks. Down status. You. Oh god, options. I can't even look at my storage, so there's probably the item I need to burn. Is in my storage. Body's uh, still missing. Twisted reflection. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. That's fine, as long as I'm not dying. You stumble upon Sotomura, furiously scratching his scar. With each motion, he gets a little deeper. With each motion, more blood appears. With each motion, he takes a step towards you. Oh my god. So tomorrow, the itching won't stop. Uh, okay. I just want to stand. We just got to go all out. Like, dodging does nothing. I have to just... We just have to go all out. 
damage. It's literally the only way to reduce taking damage is to just attack, attack, attack. It's the vi what was that? As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your about your whereabouts. Walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth as the slimy appendages slowly get closer. A voice in your head tells you what to do. All right, we're not we're not sacrificing the guest. Or do I have to? Sacrifice the guest. And as you force, lead your hand. You reach for a knife and stab a surprise guest. Include. A voice, the price is paid. This is the same ending, right? A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the wet grass. The old mansion nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize the tattoo on the old man's toe. It's your deceased grand uncle. The death toll must remain the same. Two die and two survive. Yeah, we... We got the same ending. I don't know. We have three stamina and four reason. Oh, yeah. All right, level up. Fast hands. Allows switching equipment during combat encounters. For strength, all combat moves deal an extra point of damage. Quick thinking, plus one dex. There's always a way out from seemingly hopeless. Let's do core strength, and we're gonna do reason. Old God stirs. Price hike. Preparing for the worst. People are stocking up on everything, so price of everything goes up. Take a key. Take a bath. Stamina. Only one? A what? Forest name, prescription, black hair, stalker's mask. Stalker's mask, plus one damage against human enemies. Oh, that goes on slot B, okay. Wait, what happened to my face? Why is my face like this? Meat cleaver. Oh, we got a meat cleaver. Uh, sell the meat cleaver. We'll sell the mask. Or the bottle. Oh, I see. Because the oh, because I took off the amulet for the mask. I can't even use the camera, right? Slap B. Yeah. Or the camera. Okay. Next mystery. Bizarre brute of the blood curdling botanist. Your neighbor asks you to help. Her husband Shirosan has gone missing. She is worried it might be connected with the new fertilizer he ordered from Tokyo. Where is he and why would he need so much fertilizer? He's making a bomb. Got a business card of a gardening company where the missing man was working. Uh, maybe some of his colleagues could tell you anything useful. Investigate the school location twice. Okay, let's do the school once here. Half open. This door shouldn't be there. It shouldn't lead anywhere. More importantly, it shouldn't pull you in. Resist. Uh, you force yourself to leave... The mysterious door behind. Minus two stam. Three. Hey, you kind of get the feeling that, like, you can't... I mean, I guess there's dice rolls going on behind the scene, but, like... I just take dam... Like, you're just constantly taking damage, damage, damage. Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty. Yes, this is exactly what I need. You shudder, seeing the weird woman reaching to her pocket and grabbing a nasty-looking knife. Pretty face. Mind if I borrow it? Aspiring model. Oh, good. She's... Again. Minus three stamina damage. She's just gonna kill us. I have to go all out. Yeah, we killed her. Wait, what's that? 
Lucky earrings. Oh, we died. Really? Resisting the unknown horror which taking its toll on your health weakened, you finally succumb to your injuries alone. As the dust settles upon your open eyes, reality starts to crumble. Should we just like run from fights or something? I don't understand. Uh, should I just be running from more fights? I don't understand. Like, what are you supposed to do? Could just be luckier? Alright, well, that's all for this episode, guys. Yeah, we're about almost an hour-ish. Uh, did we unlock anything? Achievements. Beat an enemy with a baseball bat and locks flare gun. Investigate 20 locations with a compass. Gets the map. As Ico, defeat the mad janitor. Gets Akumi, the ally. Complete a playthrough without resting. Without resting? Unlocks challenges game mode. Wait, do I have these, right? These means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, these are unlocked. Complete a game with the second character. Unlocks Cursed Cartridge. Roll a one during a stat check. Unlocks Hermit Ally. World saved when you first play through. Unlocks Endless Mode. Lose your playthrough through due to stamina loss. Unlocks, unlocks Experimental Drug. Win a playthrough using World of Horror Backstory. Unlocks Medical History Backstory. At any point in the game, have 30 cigarettes in the inventory. Purify two cursed places in a single playthrough. Discover a hole in the painting. Enter the overgrown factory wearing ritual rope and caracosa mask. Drop for items 10 times in a single playthrough. Equip two source of light at the same time. Drink the blood of a forgotten beast and survive. Very cool. All right, guys, that's all. Thank you for watching. As always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, stay tuned for more. We'll, we'll be doing a couple more. We're going to try and figure out how to get better at this game. So don't worry. we got plenty more World of Horror coming. All right? Thanks, guys. Have a good night.